Hello to all of you on this Pentecost weekend. One of the challenges of recorded worship services is that by necessity, the recording happens days before the Sunday itself. We hope that the Pentecost service we have prepared for you will be a meaningful celebration of the Spirit's work in the past and present and future. At the first Pentecost, as you know, the Spirit enabled the disciples to speak to and be understood by a diverse group of people who spoke a variety of languages. The prayers for the service today are intended to celebrate the diversity of God's people, who, when the Spirit is at work, are able to understand and be understood by one another. But the disturbing events of the last several days have shown us that wonderful diversity is not celebrated by all. And there remains much that we do not understand, respect, and value about one another. It was deeply disturbing to see the killing of yet another black man in an American city. And also disturbing to see protesters tear gassed and the burning and looting that followed in Minneapolis. In response, our leaders threaten more violence when what we need is justice and healing. Many of us, already on edge and weary from dealing with COVID-19, are not at all sure what to do with all of this, how to process it, what to do with it. Let me offer a few suggestions. First, seek to be those in and through whom the Spirit might work to foster understanding, to work for justice, to bring about healing. Also, any friends that you have in the African-American community, which community is feeling especially discouraged and vulnerable right now, reach out to them with your understanding and support. And whenever and however you can, advocate for all who are routinely overlooked and undervalued. Finally, don't offer excuses when our leaders widen gaps and deepen wounds. Hold them accountable. At Pentecost, we celebrate the Spirit's work in and among us. In faith, we also seek to be part of what the Spirit would do through us. There is much work for the Spirit yet to do. We are painfully aware of that. May we be among those through whom the Spirit does that work, so that our celebration of Pentecost is also, for us, a call to discipleship. Good Shepherd, family, and friends, will you pray with me? God of healing earth, of cleansing water, of purifying fire, and of honest air, you gave us reassurance on Pentecost that the Holy Spirit would always be with us and in us and that we would never be alone. Help us take that love, that care, and that eternal presence and learn how to live it outward in ways that are faithful, that are brave and bold and kind. Help us walk aside those who you loved most of all the marginalized, the poor, the weak, and those in need. We especially pray for the families of Amaud Arbery, Brianna Taylor, and George Floyd. Be with them. Be with the communities that are burning. Be with those who are afraid, who are frightened, alone, sad, despairing, hopeless, or confused. God, walk with us through this time. Lead and inspire our hearts so that we can follow the path you would have us follow, so that we can know how to love and how to inspire in the world the kind of compassion that you show us. In Jesus' name, amen. And now, let's continue to remember that love with Pentecost worship and the Holy Spirit's continued and eternal presence. 